Hi there, my name is Willi Mutschler and I'm an assistant professor in international macroeconomics at the University of Tübingen. This is a graduate level course aimed at our master students, but it's also designed to challenge early PhD students who are interested in understanding the empirical methods commonly used in modern macroeconomics. We'll dive into two major modeling approaches. On the one hand, structural vector autoregressive models, or SVAR in short, and dynamic stochastic general equilibrium models, or DSG models on the other hand. These are crucial frameworks in macroeconomic research today. Over the semester we'll cover topics like the fundamentals of macroeconomic time series data, the econometric properties of autoregressive processes, and how to estimate multivariate vector autoregressive models with ordinary least squares, with maximum likelihood, with Bayesian MCMC method, such as the Gibbs sampler and using the Minnesota prior. We will also cover tools to evaluate estimation techniques such as information criteria, specification tests, and we will cover the bootstrap approach. We will then switch gears and study the identification problem in macroeconomics, particularly in structural vector autoregressive models. We will talk about recursive identification strategies, short run restrictions and long run restrictions, but we also cover more modern narrative approaches and lastly also cover the local projection method. The focus is here on actually estimating and identifying structural VR models, how to do inference on them and how to present important estimation results such as impulse response functions, historical decompositions or variance decompositions. In the last part of the semester we will turn towards the estimation of these G models. So first we will study the baseline model, the so-called New Keynesian model and its algebra, However, our focus will be less on the theoretical foundations or solution methods. This is more what we study in computational macroeconomics next semester. But our focus here in quantitative macroeconomics is on the econometric techniques required to estimate the parameters of the model. That is, we will study how to use limited information methods such as the generalized method of moments or the simulated method of moments, GMM or SMM, but also we will dive deep into full information methods such as maximum likelihood and the Bayesian Markov chain Monte Carlo methods such as the random walk metropolis Hastings algorithm. If there is time we will also cover the slice sampler. In all those parts we will always start with basic and simple examples and gradually build up to complex estimation techniques using real world case studies from the literature to illustrate each method. My goal is not just to teach you the code but to help you understand which research questions require which empirical framework. Now this course will require a significant investment of time and effort, particularly because much of the learning involves self-teaching. So you'll need to familiarize yourself with algorithms, statistical methods and econometrics that aren't typically covered in undergraduate courses. Now for software we'll be using MATLAB for estimating structural VR models and when it comes to DSG models we'll work with Dynair, which is a powerful tool used in institutions like central banks or the IMF. But don't worry if you're completely new to coding, that's fine. This course will provide resources to help you get up to speed and we will take it from there. Now, if you already know a programming language like say Python, R or Julia, feel free to re-implement our the algorithms in your preferred language to even get extra credit in your exam. Now, the course is organized as a flipped classroom, meaning you'll work through the core materials on your own, um, and we'll use our weekly sessions to tackle any questions you have and work on selected hands-on exercises together. The link to the materials is given in the description below, but also in our group on ELIAS, the study platform of the University of Tübingen. It is important that you subscribe to this group so I can reach you via email and provide you with all the necessary readings that you need for each week. The to-do lists, the exercises, the codes are all hosted on GitHub though. Now every week we'll meet on Thursdays and Fridays, alternating between in-person meetings and virtual Zoom sessions. All the sessions, both the in-person ones but also the ones on Zoom, will be live streamed and recorded for you so you can always revisit the material at your own pace. As for the exam, there will be a midterm exam and an end-term exam. Both are take-home exams that will require you to replicate results from academic papers using the methods that we've learned. You'll have two weeks to complete each. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your first week here in Tübingen. 
And if you decide to take this course, check out the to-do list for the first week, get started. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in class.